Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Star Ocean 2 and well we are in the middle of something really big. We got pulled back by transporter back to the ship of our father and apparently Expel is being attracted to a high energy mass which would obliterate the entire planet if I understand it correctly. So we have to do something so let's uh, talk to our father and let's see if uh, we can do something about it. The energy mass in question is a class 9 energy mass that is a level of energy even higher than that of a supernova. Yeah, that is that is really big. I'll analyze the data right away. Ooh, academic book. Let's try that as well. Because there should be a new one from Leon. Thank you. Settle down, Claude. You're a Federation officer. Can't let your emotions take over. Take a look at the display, Admiral. It's just a matter of time before their paths cross. The energy mass, Class 9. Enough to vaporize Planet 4 without leaving even a bit of space dust. No! Why is this happening? Claude... This isn't the sorcery globe messing with things again, is it? Dad, I've got to get back to Expel as soon as possible. I need to help my friends. Are you crazy? Didn't you hear what I just said? Planet 4 will be history soon. 75 minutes to collision. I'm sorry, Claude, but I can't let you go back there. Well, could there be some way we can push Expel back to its original orbit? There's nothing we can do. Let it go, Claude. Claude. Then let me say goodbye to everyone. I've been fighting by their side this whole time. It's the least that I can do for them. You understand me, don't you, Dad? Didn't you tell me about the friends you had? The friends you fought with back in the day? All right, that's what you've decided. Dad! Admiral! Trajectory updated. 70 minutes remaining until collision. That's more than enough time. We'll be bringing you back in five minutes. Make sure you're fully separated from everyone by then. Ah, oh, come on, Ronix. You should know what your son's about to do. He's gonna make sure you can't teleport him. Or he's gonna try to stop the sorcery globe for whatever it's doing. Got it. You've grown a lot since I last saw you. I have? But let's talk later. I'm sending you down. Dad, thanks. This is where I need to be. Reyna, it's been two hours. Do you really think we should keep waiting? Claude? Claude, where have you been? Sorry I made you guys worry. Why did you go off by yourself like that? Why don't you ever pay attention to other people's feelings? I'm sorry. Really, really sorry. Ugh! Forget it! We need to get out of here. Huh? I don't have time to explain. We have to get off this floor as soon as possible. You got it! Okay, I'm ready. Claude, isn't that your... Yep, my communicator. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> Reyna! You decided to stay with them. No matter what. You gotta respect that. Knowing that if he doesn't do anything to change this in an hour, there's nothing but dust left. He came back for her, didn't he? Very sweet. Welcome back, Claude. 
Thanks, Reyna. Now, uh, let's hurry up and see if we can do something about this. Because it's clear that the Sorcery Globe is probably the reason why Expel is being attracted to the high energy mass. So maybe if they can do something about it, That's five they can stop it. Alright, get him back up here. What the hell? Admiral, there's nobody at the target transport point. What? What happened to him? The only explanation is that he removed his communicator, sir. Oh, no. Get a security team down there immediately. I want him taken back here. Use force if necessary. But, sir, we only have 60 minutes before collision. Then use whatever time's left to find him. There's plenty of time before the collision. Please, Admiral, you need to calm down. Yes, we still have 60 minutes until the collision, but the energy mass's gravitational pull is going to destroy the planet long before that point. I can't even begin to imagine the level of cosmic radiation that mass is bombarding the planet with right now. Are you willing to put the security team's lives in danger for your personal reasons, sir? Yes. Yes, he will definitely want that. He isn't going to, but he would definitely want to do that. The father in him would say yes, but... His uh, job is gonna make him do otherwise, is it? He cannot put one person above the entire crew. I apologize. I shouldn't have lost my cool there. Alright, well... That was very intense. The, the information that Expel is going to be vaporized within the next hour and the fact that uh, we basically said goodbye to ever going back to our family apparently because if we can't stop this we're gonna be dead <laughs> so let's uh, let's try and give it our all right all right let's see what's ahead is there something anything that can uh, stop the next event from happening because to be honest I don't feel like being vaporized <laughs> while on this planet so yeah maybe if we can get to the heart of the thing maybe we can repel ourselves it has to be something right oh it's him again you ha! you're a lucky bunch of fools aren't you I didn't think anyone would survive falling off the ship You've killed thousands, and now you're gonna pay for it! Oh, really? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not letting you go any further. This tower is going to be your grave. Technically, if nothing's changed, so it will be yours as well. Because they did say it's gonna vaporize the entire planet, that there won't even be dust left. That's a lot of destruction. Alright, let's beat it. Maybe just get rid of the minions. They should be really weak compared to the rest. Alright, break. Now make all damage. Wishing, make him wish he isn't here anymore. Uh, only a quarter. Alright, our damage we're getting so far is not. Hey, 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 hit him before he costs. He's strong, but we're doing pretty well. So, two more breaks. Can we do it? Beauty Assault Team for what is there for. Oh crap, rolled on. Smack it. Oh god, no. Oh, it's the same attack he used on the ship. 
And maybe a little bit of healing. All right, we got it. He was good, definitely. Hammer Slammer. Explode. How did you become this strong? Well, to be honest, the monsters on the continent give a shit ton of experience, and we have leveled up a lot because of it. So yeah, you gave us the tools to become this strong. Oh wait, maybe we should uh, head back first and heal and save once again, because it's so close, it would be, well... I don't want to just give the word stupid, but that uh, might be the answer for it. Yes. Now we're fully healed and ready to take on the next challenge. Well, and we did level up, so it's not that we like to heal much, but the save, just as important. Alright, so the quest is dead ahead, so let's go to the side. And if we see more people in glass with numbers on them, I might need to, to uh, write the numbers down straight away this time. Why do enemies always want to go for my healer? Really? There must be a few more chests here that we can uh, possibly use. <laughs> yes, break everything. Um, did you just try to heal yourself? And I know we're pretty far into the game, so it's really bad that I'm just noticing it. I think the colors of the magic are represented of what kind of magic they're casting. It looks like that green is assault magic, and blue is healing. Then I'm guessing like the other colors will also mean uh, something like that. Amulet of flexibility. Because I'm starting to notice, at the least, that there's a consistency in the coloring and the uh, move that's coming out. Wait, uh, move and speed out, then let's uh, get rid of their defender. Yeah, and maybe I should change uh, the eruption of the seal to explode. But it does sound like a very powerful magic. And for something we occasionally use, I want it to be spectacularly powerful. Ooh, wait, that's dead end. This is well. So maybe it goes underneath it? Follow me, there's more to be had. Thank you. Uh, yes. No, no, for which? Ah, uh, she knew what's coming. Yeah, I think the m most advantageous of uh, Meteor Palm is that it's so ridiculously cheap. It takes a lot for me to empty the entire thing out. Ooh, he did almost get it out. Nice work. Very healing. Ooh, that sounds like a powerful one. A theory of symbology. I am curious though, because we did uh, steal a book, the academic one. <laughs> Is worse than what he already had, really. Uh, this one is closer. Still bad, though. 
but it does raise his intelligence level quite a lot. And intelligence is what they use for the attack power of magic. So should we forego his attack power for more intelligence so that it might do more damage in our favor? Definitely something to think about, but I did decide not to further upgrade Leon until we get our next member. Because if I uh, understood correctly, we can have 8 members in our team. That means we have room for one more, so hopefully we can get another one in our party. That way we cannot expand anymore, and then I can focus on upgrading the final parts of those two members, and then switching them in and out once again. For now, I just want to make sure I can save Expel, because there's too much things we still need to do here. Places I haven't fished, an ancient text that we haven't translated yet, real that hasn't even given us all the rewards yet. Yet, yeah, too much to leave behind, so yeah, we have to save Expel. Alright, let's see what's in the middle of things. Is it a dead end? Or way through? Yeah, it is going underneath it. That's it. That's the sorcery globe. We're here. Alright, are we ready? I think we are. What is that? It's magical, it's round. Translate differently and you got a sorcery globe, so yeah. Wait a second, Claude, that must be the sorcery globe. Damn, who are they? Don't move, stay where you are. Okay. Why does this little girl have possession of the quadratic key? The only key in existence is the one whose core we created and crystallized. Cable? I'm not saying that's his name, but that's what he looks like, like the mutant cable. Oh god, no. Claude. I told you to stay where you are. We know you can understand us. Claude, stay with me. That healing power. Are you a Nidian? So far they look pretty weird and cool at the same time. Who are they? There must be aliens that uh, came with the sorcery globe. It has to. Median? What are you talking about? Who are you? My my, how uncivilized. You people are just as underdeveloped as this planet. Flying into a rage at the drop of a hat? No. From what I can tell, this boy is not an Expellion at all. I would say he is probably from Earth. Forgive my rudeness, but what is an Earthling doing so far out on the edge of the universe? I couldn't venture a guess. What the heck are you guys talking about? An Earthling? <laughs> the universe? Claude? Yeah, those are things he couldn't talk about because of the UP3. Hmm. No, I doubt you would understand any of this. Allow me to explain. That boy next to you is not from Expel at all. He is a native of another planet. Another planet? Yes. The stars up above, those celestial bodies you thought were mere points of light, are home to a wondrous variety of living creatures. Earth and Expel are just two such planets. But that matters not. For we are from need, just as you are. I'm from need? Just like you? Don't listen to them, Reyna. What are you people here for, anyway? Were you the ones that destroyed Illyria? I see no reason to tell you of our plans. <laughs> and he looks just like Robocop. Well, with his visor and such. What? Besides. 
Besides, you're too late. This planet's already on a collision course with Need. Even if we told you everything, you couldn't do a thing to stop us at this point. Collision? What are you doing this for? Are you trying to destroy the whole planet? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> inferior beings with your shallow trivial thoughts what could destroying a single frontier planet accomplish this is merely a single step in the road taking us back to need it's all part of the road map that will bring us back our powers and restore us as rulers of the galaxy you're taking over the galaxy yes not that I expect mere insects such as yourselves to comprehend. The time is near. In a matter of minutes, this planet will collide with need. Oh, he has to be the leader of the entire gang because he's separate of them all the way to the back and he looks really cool. Yeah, he definitely is uh, <laughs> the leader of the bunch. I think, yeah. Why did you choose this planet out of all the billions that are out there? Because <laughs> this is probably the one they landed on by accident. I'm beginning to think that it was not a choice. This planet was located closest to Need's orbital path. No other reason. So it was planned. <laughs> With the sorcery globe crash landing on Expel, I thought it was nothing more but an accident, but so they planned this to go to a planet that is closest to need so they could purposely crash into it to get closer to need sacrificing billions that live here eh, roughly it's just insanity isn't it <laughs> I'm guessing this game is not even halfway there is it we're gonna have to take on every single one of them here probably not now but we will. This is like the introduction to we are the main villains. This is who we are. <laughs> Find and fight us if you can. Our tool is the quadratic sphere. The thing in your world you call the sorcery globe. That was what was used to shift the planet's plane of orbit. And that is what will make this planet collide with need. We had no idea that there was also a quadratic key housed on this planet. Our plans have been accelerated a hundred years thanks to this stroke of luck. What's this quadratic key you're talking about? A crystallized symbological stone. Um, you called it an energy stone. It's hanging off your neck right now. You mean this pendant? But why? It is perfectly reasonable for a Needian such as yourself to have one of those. Only the Needians have the knowledge required to construct a quadratic key. But enough of this! You'll all be dead in a second. Not if I can help it. I'm going to take out all of you and stop this madness before it gets any worse. <laughs> I think we might try, but with the way they look, I don't think we have a chance. I'm sorry to disappoint. You. But even if you could beat us, Expel's fate is already set in stone. I don't know that till I try. So you really are that stupid. Hey you, go deal with him for me. You appear to have a death wish, boy. I suppose we can at least grant him the kindness of a quick and relatively painless death. Let me take care of this. I can handle this by myself. I am Metatron of the Ten Wise Men, and fighting me will be the greatest achievement you'll ever have. <laughs> Metatron. <laughs> Alright, so we're now gonna name the Ten Wise Men. Well, they better kill me here, or they will not be the Ten Wise Men. They will be the soon dead Ten Wise Men. As expected, 
not uh, supposed to even uh, touch him. No shields on top, no damage. I think all damage we see are probably on ourselves. Yeah, he's gonna end it with an attack that does 99,999 damage. It does look very cool though. Within teleport range of planet need, and so I must bid you fools farewell. Oh, God, no. It's beautiful, but amazing and destructive at the same time. Destroyed like it's nothing. Ronix. I turned my back on a billion people and my own son. But this collision is the result of natural causes as unusual as they may be. I know your own child's involved in this, but I'm afraid there's just nothing to be done about it. <clears throat> this was an unexplored region of space, Admiral. There's no point having regrets about it now. Kurtzman. Claude went down there of his own volition. That's what he wanted from the moment we transported him back here. We all know there was nothing we could do to save the billions of people down there. This planet was doomed to extinction from the start. Damn it. Why does science have to be so useless? Come on, this Everything is going to be the end. We have returned to need. But those little pests have joined us for the ride. Okay, so we survived. I was already expecting that we would, cause it would be very weird for the hero and his entire party to die halfway through the game. But yeah, I was really hoping that uh, Expel would survive, but it is really gone now, isn't it? There's no way of returning it, is it? Hmm. Maybe, because like I said, we have the ancient manuscript that hasn't been translated yet. We haven't done everything of real, like catching all the fish and getting all the rewards. There has to be a way to get that done. And the only thing I can think of if we can revive Expel. I don't know how or if that's possible, but I'm not giving up just yet. Let, let's see where the game takes it from here. We could not have prevented it. They were right there with us. It was our fault for not being able to kill them. Well, you want them dead? It looks like they've landed somewhere far away. Leave them. They're helpless at this point. That much is true. Their days are certainly numbered either way. But that Nadian girl bothers me. What was she doing on that planet? I don't know. There was supposed to be no escape route from need. Uh, not in its current state. It's just a girl. A single girl could hardly be called a problem for us. So, everything according to plan, then. Indeed. But we cannot afford to rest easy. Things have yet to even begin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where am I? Is this heaven? No, I'm guessing it's a new planet. Reina, you all right? Oh. 
Claude. Do you have any idea what we're doing here, Claude? At the moment, not so much. I... I don't know. You don't think we're in heaven, do you? No, it's not heaven at all. We're on the planet Need, in a place called the Outer Gardens. Okay, how do you know that? What was that? Oh, no! Reyna! You okay, Reyna? I'm fine. This way. She, Reyna, what's going on here? Is she remembering stuff? From before she was sent to Expel? I don't know. All I know is we should be going this way. That might be your Nidian blood working for you, Reyna. I can't really tell, but there's something about the air. It makes me feel so calm. I feel like all my worries just fly away. Like I've known this place ever since I was young. That's why I think we're on need right now. By the way, Claude, what was with them saying you were from another planet? I... Uh, there was an accident. And somehow I got transported from where I was to expel. And then I ran into Reyna in the sacred forest. And it all went from there. Oh... That's no big deal, really, is it? No matter where you came from, you're still Claude, you know? That hasn't changed at all. Yeah, thanks. We aren't gonna get anything done if we just sit around here. So, let's take a look around. Yeah, guess we have no other choice than just to look around, because we have you think no idea where we are. Spell, by the way? They're gone, Ashton. Reyna's mom... Leon's parents, Celine's village, Priestess's dad, everyone vaporized to nothing. Not too well, no doubt about that. Nothing could have survived that collision. Don't worry, I'm sure they're doing just fine. Bet they can't wait for us to get back home too. Reyna. I'm sure of it. Yeah, she's right. That's why we've got to get moving and figure out what's going on around here. Right. What's that? It looks like some kind of device. Looks old, like it's been here for ages. Please, come inside. Who are you? I mean you no harm. Just go on inside the transporter. Everything will be revealed to you. Everything? Hmm, now what? I'm more than a little suspicious about this. Let's try it. Reyna? It's all right. There's something about his voice. I feel like we can trust it. If that's what Reyna says, then I'm not going against her. Here goes. And besides, we're on a new planet. We have no idea where we are. We need information. And if someone is willing to give it to us, we might where as well. Is this? It is somewhere, all right. Somewhere a little bit more high tech than Expel. I don't know. Wow! Amazing! Well, might as well get out. Can we go back up? <laughs> yes, we can. Alright, let's uh, explore the outer garden a little bit more. I'm. Very doubtful we'll find anything, but if the game is letting us look, we might as well have a little look. 
because we have no idea who is talking, who is beckoning us to come inside to tell us more about what's going on here. Whoever it is, we have no idea. So a little bit of extra exploration before we go there, not a bad thing. A unique spot. The Otherworldly Garden, a place so mythical and rich in nature, plant life, it seems almost like heaven. The product of millions of years in a special setting isolated from civilization and non-native species. So basically, it's a place that is beyond other planets, other solar systems, species, civilizations. Well, one thing we can definitely say, this place is definitely special. Oh well, let's uh, get down the elevator, see what we can find out for now. I have been waiting for you. That was your voice before. It was. I am the one who brought you here. My name is Nall. I serve as the mayor of the Centropolis. The Centropopopolis? <laughs> we... we are on Need, aren't we? Oh, this is Need, all right. The Centropolis is one of Need's largest cities. So... Do you people have any idea why you're here on Need right now? No, I don't have any idea what's going on here. We were fighting these strange men on top of a tower in Eluria. The next thing we knew, we were here. You were probably teleported here with those men when they took themselves to Need. Who the hell were those guys? A group that we call the Ten Wise Men. Before I explain who they are, I must tell you of the mistakes that have haunted Need's past. About 3.7 billion years ago, Need was a planet. M meaning what? It's a planet now, isn't it? The Need of today isn't a planet at all. What we stand on today is better known as Energy Need, an artificial planet enveloped in a high energy field. So something like that the planet of Need was destroyed and this is all that's left of it? A flat earth for a lack of a better word? <laughs> it's a beautiful picture though. Oh, that must be what my dad called the high energy mass. 3.7 billion years ago, Planet Expel did not even exist in space. Even at that time, the people of Need had vast knowledge of magic science, on a level no other planet could come close to matching. As a result, Need was able to gain control of every planet in the galaxy. But Need didn't rule by force. The records claim it was a model of economic cooperation, almost a living utopia. But even in this near utopia, there live those with evil minds. They call themselves the Ten Wise Men. They were uninterested in interplanetary cooperation. They wanted the entire galaxy under their iron fists. The Ten Fanatical Madmen began their conquest by first seizing control of need with their staggering powers. One by one, Need's cities fell under the sheer force of their attack. Anyone who refused loyalty to their regime was ruthlessly murdered. They showed pity to no one, not even women and children. The Needian armed forces mustered everything they had, but they were completely routed by the overwhelming power of the wise men. Their rampage across the planet, however, did not last long. The Needian army summoned up their remaining power 
and they fought back fiercely. After weeks of desperate fighting, they finally succeeded in defeating the Ten Wise Men. As their punishment, the Ten Wise Men were exiled to Eternity Space, a prison from which there can never be any exit. The war was a complete victory for the Nidian forces. But... There has to be a but, because... Like I said, where we're on right now is just a slice of a planet. Something must have happened. And in the process, the Nidians finally opened their eyes to the extent of the power they had wielded all this time. Even if we never asked for it, we had the technological ability to rule over the entire universe right at our fingertips. If the Ten Wise Men ever came back to haunt us, Need would be engulfed in total war yet again. Nobody wanted this, of course. After a lengthy conference, the world-renowned Dr. Lantis offered a solution that everyone accepted. We opted to seal away our powers, to put an end to the progress that we had achieved. Planet Need was destroyed by the hands of the very Needians who lived there. And so it was that the entire population relocated to energy need, ensconced safely in its high energy field. The energy that covers this planet exists to forbid any access to or from foreign space. With it, we are totally cut off from the rest of the universe. So basically, they are the first civilization in the galaxy. Well, from what we've heard from the story, 3.7 billion years ago. You know the rest of the story. The Ten Wise Men escaped from their banishment into Eternity Space. How they managed to escape, and how they managed to break into Planet Expel, is a mystery to us. But the facts are plain for anyone to see. They are out of Eternity Space, and they have landed on need once again. And their goal is nothing less than complete domination of the galaxy. So those... those were the Ten Wise Men? Yes. They are led by the all-powerful Gabriel with the cunning Lucifer serving as their military advisor. Under them are the remaining eight wise men, which are in turn led by Michael. They are madmen, and they are to be feared. You can find out more about them in the library's database, if you're interested. Oh, we are interested indeed. Didn't you notice when they came back to this planet? We did, but the moment Expel's orbit first became erratic, it was already too late to do anything. So why did you bring us here anyway? Because you have the potential. What do you mean? As we speak, the Ten Wise Men are preparing to take over the galaxy. And they're starting with energy need. But we simply don't have the power we once had. The power that banished them to another dimension long ago. So, you want us to help you out? That's right. The powers that we and the Ten Wise Men have are identical. Neither side can come out on top. What we need is a different kind of power. A different kind of power? What do you think? I think we have no choice. We're already here after all. If the Ten Wise Men want to take over the galaxy, then they'll come after Expel sooner or later. It sounds good to me then. Sounds good then. Thank you so much. I'm sorry to be blunt, but there isn't a moment to lose. I want to act swiftly and decisively. And if you heard what she was saying now, then why didn't you correct her about Expel? Because it's not there anymore, is it? What should we do, though? The first thing you'll want is a mode of transportation to get you around need. Isn't that what the transporters are for? Those are installed only at our main government buildings. For everything else, we use flying symbological creatures known as synods. 
Sign arts. If you travel north of the Centropolis, you'll arrive at North City. They have a sign art breeding farm called The Home up there. I'm sure anyone there can point you to it. Also, there is the library that I mentioned earlier. You'll find a wealth of knowledge about Need's history and technology inside. Thank you, sir. I'd say it's time to visit North City then. Reyna! How did you know my name? I have something to discuss with you, privately. Could you stay behind for just a moment? Oh, let me guess. We're not allowed to listen in. <laughs> ah, the downside of not picking Rena as our protagonist. <laughs> sure. Hopefully she'll tell us later. I wonder what Rain is talking about in there. We probably shouldn't be thinking about it. I suppose so. Reyna's about to face up to herself for the first time in her life. This isn't something we can really help her out with. Dude! Ah, I apologize for keeping you. Oh, not at all. I had best return to my duties then. Sorry I kept you waiting. No, no, it's all right. Reyna, listen. Hmm? Uh... I'm all right. Reyna? Let's go. I need to find my answers. Right. Our first stop's going to be North City, right? Yes, but what did you guys talk about in that room over there? That's straight due north of the Centropolis, I think. So she's not gonna tell us. All right. Well, I'm, I'm guessing at some point we'll find out. But for now, let's leave it here. And next time we can continue by, well, exploring Need and of course the town that we are in, and maybe steal from a few people if they have anything nice. But yeah. So far, Expel's gone. All the people we know are gone, even if they don't want to admit it to themselves or can't understand that for themselves. We land on a planet that's going to be taken over by ten wise men with a power that they cannot defeat. Yeah, we have a lot uh, to find out, to discover, to explore, but that's going to be on the next one. So for now, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are, and if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we explore Centropolis. See you then, bye bye.